So, picking up with uh, Project 200 block in the machine shop. Uh, we've got a state-of-the-art piece of kit, <laughs> um, which has been used once or twice before, but... Yeah, it's not new. It's not new, but it's it works and it does the job. Um, <clears throat> built to last, built to do a job. So, it's got... You were just saying, Andy, you built the the uh, first plate on there, didn't you? Oh, the fly cutter, yeah. That yeah. was me. Um, someone asked me to skim my head there. I didn't have a fly cutter, so I made it out of some steel on the uh, lathe. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> when I first started out. But, yeah, it's done me proud, that... But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just run across it real slow, like 80 RPM a minute or something, just clock along all the way. We'll put it on the camera, but we'll probably... Yeah, we can like time lapse it or something, can't we? And we'll just we? tickle away. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not going to be too hard where it's been welded. Yeah. So the, the cutter will just cut so through it. How much is going to sort of cut off that, is it? Oh, we'll just do like, we'll probably start with like five foul cuts and just tickle it. Yeah. It's got a new tip in it, so it should just cut through it. So like but five we'll, thousands of an inch. Yeah, yeah 5,000 yeah. inch, yeah. And then we don't really want to be going lower than sort of 10, 15 foul off the top of the block. We can always machine the pistons to, to suit to get them to the yeah. protrude when it's built, but um, we'll just try and leave as much meat in the top of the block as possible. But yeah, I'm confident that it'll clean up. Uh, like I say, we're just, we're just looking for a nice grey um, finish so it's, it's cut rather than rough, yeah. you know? Yeah, nice. Um, so we'll set it off going. Right, cool. All right, fantastic. Oh, we'll set the camera up yeah. in a bit of a time lapse, and uh, yeah, we'll go and get a brew or something like that. that sounds good. Yeah, cheers. Right.